Okay, guys, I am super excited today because today we're going to be reading another story. Today we're going to be reading Eleven by Sandra Cisneros. Um, the reason why I love this story is for many, many reasons. I have often taught this story with my um, students talking about character traits, um, but I really love this story because it pictures like, you know, a uh, elementary student and she's it's her birthday so you expect that her day is going to be super amazing and have like an incredible time but it's the complete opposite um Sagittarius Cisneros is an incredible writer she has some so many amazing stories her most popular is the house on mango street definitely recommend you check it out it's a cool short poem book that you know has some good stories as well similar to this one so i'm super excited to share the story with y'all let's get started what they don't understand about birthdays and what they never tell you is that when you're 11, you're also 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. And when you wake up on your 11th birthday, you expect to feel 11, but you don't. You open your eyes and everything's just like yesterday. Only is today. And you don't feel 11 at all. You feel like you're still 10. And you are. Underneath the years that make you 11. Like some days, you might say something stupid. And that's part of you that's still 10. Or maybe some days, you might need to sell your mama's laugh. Because you're scared. And that's a part of you that's 5. And maybe... One day you're all grown up and well, maybe you'll need to cry like if you're three and that's okay. That's why I tell mama when she's sad and needs to cry, maybe she's feeling three. Because the way you grow old is kind of like an onion or like the rings inside a tree trunk or like my little wooden dolls that fit one inside the other each year inside the next one. That's how being 11 years old is. You don't feel 11, not right away. It takes a few days, weeks, even sometimes, even months before you say 11 when they ask you. And you don't feel smart 11, not until you're almost 12. And that's the way it is. Only today, I wish I didn't have only 11 years rattling inside of me like little pennies in a tin band-aid box. Today, I wish I was 102 instead of 11. Because if I was 102, I have known what to say when Miss Price put the red sweater on my desk. I wouldn't know how to tell her it wasn't mine instead of just sitting there with a look on my face and nothing coming out of my mouth. Whose is this? Miss Price says, and she holds the red sweater up in the air for the class to see. Whose has been sitting in the cot room for a month? Not mine, says everyone. Not me. It has to belong to somebody. Miss Price keeps saying, but no one can remember. It's an ugly sweater with red plastic buttons and a collar and sleeve all stretched out. You could use it for a drop rope. It's maybe a thousand years old. And even if it belonged to me, I wouldn't say so. Maybe because I'm skinny. Maybe because she doesn't like me. That stupid Sylvia Salvador says, I think it belongs to Rachel. An ugly sweater like that? All raggy and old? But Miss Price believes her. Miss Price takes the sweater and put it right on my desk. But when I open my mouth, nothing comes out. That's not, I don't, you're not, not, not mine. I say in a little voice that was maybe me when I was four. Of course it's your raise. Miss Price says, I remember you wearing it once. Because she's older and the teachers, she's right and I'm not. Not mine, not mine, not mine. But Miss Price has already turned to page 32 and math problem number four. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm feeling sick inside. Like the part of me that was three wants to come out of my eyes. Only I sneeze, squeeze them shut tight and bite down my teeth real hard and try to remember today. I am 11, 11. Mama is making a cake for me tonight. And when Papa comes home, everyone will sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And But when the sick feeling goes away and I open my eyes, 
the red sweater still sitting there like a big red mountain. I move the red sweater to the corner of my desk with my ruler. I move my pencils and books and erasers as far from me as possible. I even move my chair a little to the right. Not mine, not mine, not mine. In my head, I'm thinking, how long till lunchtime? How long till I can take the red sweater and throw it over the schoolyard fence? Or even leave it hanging on a parking meter? Or bunch it up into a little ball and toss it in the alley? Except when math period ends, Miss Price is loud and in front of everyone. No, Rachel, that's enough! Because she sees I shove the red sweater to the tippy corner of my desk. And it's hanging all over the edge like a waterfall. But I don't care. Rachel, Miss Rice Price says. She says like she's getting mad. You put that sweater on right now and no more nonsense. But it's not now, Miss Price says. This is when I wish I wasn't 11 because all the years inside of me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 are pushing at the back of my eyes when I put one arm through one sleeve of the sweater that smells like cotton cheese, then the other arm through the other and stand there with my arms apart like if the sweater hurts me. And it does. All itchy and full of germs that aren't even mine. That's when everything I've been holding in since the morning, since Miss Miss Price put the sweater on my desk, finally lets go. And all of a sudden, I'm crying in front of everybody. I wish I was invisible, but I'm not. I'm 11, and it's my birthday today, and I'm crying like I'm three in front of everybody. I put my head down on my desk and bury my face in my stupid clown sweater arms. My face all hot, hot and spit coming out of my mouth because I can't stop the little animal noise <laughs> coming from them out of me until there aren't any more tears left in my eyes. And it's just my body shaking like when you have the hiccups. My whole head hurts, like when you drink milk too fast. But the worst part is right before the bell rings for lunch. That stupid Phyllis Lopez, who is even dumber than Sylvia Salvador, says she remembers the rest of it is hers. I take it out right away and give it to her. Only Miss Price pretends like everything is okay. Today, I'm 11. There's cake Mama's making for tonight, and when Papa comes home from work, we'll eat it. There will be candles and presents, and everyone will sing, Happy birthday, happy birthday to you, Rachel. Only, it's too late. I'm 11 today. I'm 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one but i wish i was 102 i wish i was anything but 11 because i want today to be far away already far away like a runaway balloon like a tiny o in the sky so tiny tiny you have to close your eyes to see it all right guys thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe down below and also leave me comments let me know what story you want to hear next and also what you thought of this story. All right, see y'all later.